Hey there, folks. Welcome back. Shh. Shadow banning. Don't say it. It's not true. But it is true. And it's something that Screwtube likes to do and gets accused of all the time, even though they flat out deny it and have been caught lying about it. The Notre Dame, or Notre Dame, however you want to pronounce it, Cathedral Fire is a great example of this. If you remember some time ago when that was going on, they were pulled out in the open. It, it, YouTube was exposed for their algorithms, which were blocking stories, even legitimate news stories, about the Cathedral Fire, because the algorithm was mistaking it for talking about the 11th of September, incident, and I worded it that way on purpose so that I won't get in trouble. The algorithm was designed to block videos talking about that subject. And they had to admit it, even though they had denied doing that for years, had to sit there and say, yeah, the algorithm got confused. We're sorry about that. We're fixing the problem because tens of thousands of Cathedral Fire videos were blocked because of that mistake. And they had to admit it. They had to admit that they had been doing it even though they denied it. No sense uh, denying anything else, Screwtube. We all know that this is what you do to your so-called content creators. Now, the first of which, these are three that they've really been leaning into for the last several months. And the first one is adult screening. And that is making a video age-restricted. Now, pretty much everybody at this point has it set on their video that this content is not for children because of the whole incident with that that took place last year. But they have this little thing, this little system where it says you get this, you get this generic email that says, Hi, so-and-so, as you may know, our community guidelines describe what content we allow and which content we don't allow, which, quite frankly, that's very vague if you've ever read it on YouTube. Your video, blah, 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 was flagged to us for review. Upon review, we've determined that it may not be suitable for all viewers and it's been placed behind an age restriction. First of all, nobody looked at that video. You, if you complain about a video, odds are they're just going to shut that video down anyway. And it says, how, you can, how can you respond if you believe this was a mistake? We'd like to hear from you to appeal the age restriction. Please submit this form. Our team will thoroughly review your appeal and we'll contact you again very soon. That's a lie because I've been through this. If they do ever contact you back, it'll be damn near a year, maybe longer. I've actually had videos that I've complained about, hey, you, you age restricted me or you took a video down. And they said, oh, yes, please do submit this form. And, you know, 14, 16 months later, I get a response. And all they do is stick with whatever they said in the first place. But the whole problem with it being age-restricted like that is when you go to a video that's been age-restricted, you can't see it. And it says, uh, this video has been age-restricted. Would you like to proceed? Yes or no? If you click yes, nothing happens. Because I've run into videos like that. You click yes and the video doesn't play. <laughs> and I've had people tell me that too. Hey, your video won't work. So they block the video from even functioning. And that's a dirty trick. That's a really, really dirty trick. Now the other one here, and take a look at this. This is another new one. And I've talked about their rating systems before. And their rating systems are really screwy and very vague also. But it says, be careful, it looks like you may have made mistakes filling out this questionnaire for several previous videos. If you fill out this questionnaire accurately each time, we can use your input when determining if your videos follow our ad-friendly content guidelines. This can help your videos monetize faster so you may earn even more money and save time requesting reviews. Now, the problem with this is I don't have any strikes for the last several videos. I think the last time I had a strike was in the beginning of October. So it's not like made mistakes for several previous videos. My account doesn't reflect that. So why am I getting this warning? Second of all, if you're going to follow up with your algorithm and double, triple, and quadruple check everything I do, what's the point of me even filling out this questionnaire in the first place? It's a waste of time. And then they have this uh, YouTube self-certification program and this like stooge here doing the video that nobody wants to see that has like a million thumbs down. Uh, <laughs> then you get here, and this is the visibility. It says, choose when to publish and who can see your video. And then it suggests to you 
to save your video as private or unlisted to ensure it is suitable for ads before you publish. This helps you maximize revenue. Now, if you go ahead and you make it public and put it up anyway, you're basically screwed. The video is not going to work right. So you have to do it as private or unlisted and wait for them to conduct their algorithm search of your video to make sure it meets their specifications. And this one had a lot of problems. You see, America still has taxation without representation. That's my video. And then you go to this page and it says checking. You see how it has a little clock checking? And it's more so about seeing whether or not the video is suitable by their standards than it is about being monetized because you don't make hardly anything on the monetization anyways. You've got your video has to have millions and millions of views to really make any money. Otherwise, I mean, you're not even making enough to get paid every month because <laughs> you, you have to make over $120 in ad revenue to get to get paid from uh, from AdSense. So it could be months before you receive a payment because what they give you for these videos is such a small amount. And is it on here? I don't think it says it on here, but when you do the submission and it says monetization checking ads pending, right? And it's listed as unlisted and it tells you this may take up to 20 minutes. I don't have a screenshot of that, but it says this may take up to 20 minutes. On this particular video right here, what happened with the modern generation? It took almost four hours to process. Hi there. Nice weather we're having for this time you of year. You were supposed to meet me here four hours ago. I know. I know all about it. I've been hearing it all my life. That's right. Four hours, not 20 minutes or less. And that's the longest it's taken. Usually, it can take up to an hour, sometimes two. And, you know, if you're waiting that long, eventually, you're going to forget you put a video up. You might forget, and it could sit there. And then you go back, and you're like, oh, yeah. And that's kind of what they're counting on. And this is the third one. This is my dashboard. All right. And you see Active Community Guideline Strikes Warning. And I've submitted for a review on that one months ago and still haven't heard anything. But, uh... Anyways, you see the channel analytics, current subscribers versus how many in the last 28 days. So in the last 28 days, I've had 15 subscribers. This is a new trick. Now, usually it's two to 300. In the, in the, all, all year it's been like two to 300, I think. Now all of a sudden it's 15. Why is it 15? The only way that can be is if new people are not seeing the videos. It's as simple as that. It didn't just suddenly fall out. That makes no sense. And I've, I've talked to a few other people and they've been seeing this as well. I got one guy who tells me that his says four and he has something like uh, 75,000 subscribers. And his says four. Four subscribers for a channel with 75,000 subscribers with regular videos going out. That doesn't make any sense unless they're doing something to keep new people from seeing your videos as they're coming out. And that compounded with the fact that they unsubscribe people. A big complaint I get from a lot of subscribers is, hey, I had to find your channel again. Hey, this is the third time I had to track your channel down. ScrewTube routinely unsubscribes people from, from the channels that they don't like. So if you're getting fewer subscribers than however many they unsubscribe, your numbers are going to start working backwards. And my numbers were over 10.5. Now it's 10, 14, and 15. So I'm losing subscribers. And if they can wind you back that way, eventually you'll get to the point where you're not, no longer suitable for AdSense because they have restrictions on that. You have to have a certain number of subscribers, a certain number of views regularly. If they can strangle that off, they can kick you out of uh, ScrewTube altogether. It's just another way to get rid of people. They, they make it so unpleasant to be in here. Bad enough that you get flooded with negative comments constantly from, uh, from people or from agencies. There are people who it's their job to go on videos and screw with you. I get some of that. I, I brought that up in the last mailbag video with UPS. Certain ones you can tell it's HR 
and they go around and look for videos like that and give a programmed response. So never mind all the negativity and never mind getting cut off from the ads and getting slapped on the hand by ScrewTube constantly. They want to make it such an unpleasant experience for people who aren't doing videos on how to install eyelashes and uh, play with kittens that they just want to go away. And then, you know, the average response of the viewer, uh, you who is watching now, hey, why don't you go to another platform? Why don't you go to BitChute? You know, whatever. Tried all that. Those other platforms, they don't work. They, they suck, quite frankly. They're, they're very buggy or they use ScrewTube as their counter platform. You got to mirror from another site. You either have to mirror from, uh, from ScrewTube or you've got to pay for a platform somewhere else. And if you're not making any income, then you're just paying into something that you're not getting anything out of so that you can get a handful of subscribers because on these other platforms, you don't get any subscribers either. There's nobody watching. It's worse than this. And if one of those platforms is successful, Google buys them out and shuts them down. You've already seen this happen. So there's really nobody com competing with uh, YouTube and Google right now. They're a monopoly and they're not being challenged. So but this is just a, a few of the pitfalls, unfortunately, to having the balls, I guess, to sit here and reach out to a viewing audience and voice your opinion, share your thoughts or share your experiences, which is basically what I'm doing here. I'm not telling anybody to do anything. I'm not inciting a riot. I'm not threatening anybody, which is often what I'm accused of by ScrewTube. That's what that active community guideline strike was for hate speech, for trying to encourage people uh, to hate a specific group is what they, I believe that's how they put it. It's like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> if you've watched me long enough, you know how I am and that I'm not targeting anybody. I'm not telling you to go out and hurt anyone or whatever. You can make your own decisions. You do what you, what you feel is right. Listen to me or don't believe me or don't. Uh, you don't believe what I anything that I tell you. Look it up for yourself. Most of what I'm talking about is from my own personal experiences. Um, but there you go. I mean, this is they're they're making it really really tough. They're making it really tough. It's very Orwellian. I mean I don't know what else to tell you. So I hope that helps you and understand how tough this is. And this is just three of the newer ones that they're doing. There's plenty more, and I've discussed them before. I've showcased them before. Let me know what your thoughts are uh, in the comments section down below. Please do give the video a thumbs up if you got something out of it. I hope you did. Share it if you can. Subscribe if you're new. Are you a so-called content creator? Have you experienced any of this? Tell us about it in the comments. Um, if you wanted to help the channel out, every little bit helps, and I sure do appreciate it. There are links for that down below. And what more can I say but stay tuned, folks, because there is, hopefully, more to come.